ClickUp CRM. How to use ClickUp CRM step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with the ClickUp CRM. So let's get into it. Now, ClickUp is a project management product that has now expanded its resolution to cover a lot of different categories such as multiple different AI tools as well as not only a project management but a basic business management tool that can allow you to even manage your customer CRM. So let's get into the basic CRM functions of ClickUp. So ClickUp allows you to do project management primarily, and within that, you also have CRM-based templates. You don't have to start from scratch. You can build your sales pipelines, communication tools, and account management directly from the pre-existing templates on ClickUp. And you guys can see they provide you with analytical tools as well as insights, basic dashboards, and you can build a basic customer database that will allow you to extract data from all of your customers to see the overall relationship that you have been building with your customers. So let's get into building our own CRM with ClickUp. Now, the best part about using ClickUp is that it is available for free. They have the free version, which has all the basic tools that you would require. And then they also have the unlimited version where you get access to things like goals and portfolios, resource management, AI compatibility, as well as agile reporting. Now, we're just going to click on sign up on the top right, and you're just going to enter your email address to get started. I have an account on ClickUp, so I'm going to continue with the login process. And once you have logged on to ClickUp, you're going to be greeted with your basic workspace. So your basic workspace uh, is going to be divided. Obviously, if you have multiple different workspaces, multiple different CRMs, you can build that on different workspaces, and each individual workspace is entirely separated so there cannot be any exchange of data between workspaces however there can be exchange of data between the boards that are present within each individual workspace so if you create a CRM section in one workspace so let's say we have the shuffle blog workspace like I have over here you guys can see if I create a CRM section in this and then I also create a marketing section then I would be able to exchange data so for this, I will actually create a new workspace to build our CRM and we're just going to add a color and we're not going to integrate any pre-existing tools, but you can integrate a pre-existing tool if you have used that to store any of your data, contacts or anything else. So you guys will see you will get a empty space now. Uh, above the empty space section on the left side, you will get the everything section, which has basically all of your folders, all of your spaces that you've created, all the data can be uh, viewed directly from here as well. Now, let's get into starting with the pre-existing templates with the ClickUp CRM. So we're going to click on create new space and you will click on templates over here. And then you will be able to see you have multiple different types of templates and you can just search for CRM over here and you will get multiple different types of CRM templates. So you have a sales and CRM team, a sales CRM and a sales pipeline. So depending on what you want to create, you can choose the specific template that fits the uh, needs that you have for your business the best. So let's say I want to build a sales and CRM team. And you guys can see it has five status groups, six click apps, you have two view types, three automations. And if you don't want anything within that, you can later on remove the template. Obviously, you're going to edit the template to fit your business. We also have the basic sales pipeline one, but I'm going to go with the sales and CRM and I will just click on use template and I will name this space CRM and I will import everything. Now you can click on customize import items and you can choose to remove, you know, a lot of the pre-existing data. But if you want to use a sample and you haven't ever built a CRM from scratch before, then it's better to import everything and then later on delete things as you go. Then you have your project dates. So I will remap the dates and I will select the start date at the 23rd of June. And that is it. 
Now, after that, you have your archive tests. I don't want to include them. And I will just click on use template. Now, this is going to provide you with a basic layout of how you want to structure your CRM, which can be a very difficult thing whenever you are getting started with a new project. Uh, it's not going to be easy to build a CRM from scratch, hence why I do recommend you go with a template instead. So you guys can see our space has now been created. So in our everything section, you guys can see our new little sales section has been created. And in that on the top, you get your deal section. And you guys can see the tab has now shown up on the left side of our navigation panel. Within that, we also have a folder. Now, if I click on the CRM section, it has multiple different boards. You have a contact board. Each board is separated simply because you don't have a separate contact section in the ClickUp because it is project management based, but you can create a board for any kind of data that you want, enter the data in that individual board, and then extract that data onto a different board with more detailed information like the deal information. So to get started, let's break down this board a little more simply so it's easier to understand. Now, if you take a look at the CRM, you will find at the bottom you have your contact section. In this, this is a very basic list and it's just all contacts and it has six or seven pre-existing contacts added. You have assignee, due date, champion, uh, contact type, job title, email, phone. Now, let's say you have some other contact information you want to add. Now, for that, you can build a different, uh, you know, list or create a new section within your contact section to categorize your contacts as well. So you guys can see we have a little section and I'm just going to view it as a board simply because it's easier. And let's say I want to create two contact categories. Let's say I have long term relationships with certain, you know, business suppliers or business partners and I want to segregate those. So for that, I would click on add status over here. So let's say I want to add VIP contacts. I just add that over here. And just like that, I can move certain contacts or just click on new task and add my contact information over there. With each individual contact, you will have all of your notes, your CRM type information. You also have, you know, all of these data entry points. You can click on add or edit field and you can create a custom field of your own choice to enter alongside data points. So let's say I also want to add maybe some something like files and then I can add the field name so let's say this might be let's say I want to add all of my previous deals I want to attach all of those together in the basic data file of my contact I can do that by adding them over here now the next section is the account section and the account section allows you to see all of your potential projects so you have all of your potential prospects over here then on the top, you have your My Account section in this template. You have Customers and Prospects. Now, let's say we have a prospect over here, and it moves from a prospect to something like a risk section, or uh, maybe it's an active deal. So once you move something to active or to, uh, you know, at risk, it would be moved to the other category. And... If we take a look at the board view over here, you can also move things to, you know, former client, closed, or a different status that you can add yourself as well. And if you assign anything to a certain person, let's say it's assigned to me, then I can go into my My Account section, and then I will be able to see the people that have the, you know, prospects that are assigned to me. Now, moving on to the next section, we have our deals. Now, we have some basic deals like need approval, blocked, at risk, on track, on hold. And all of these are pretty simple and they have all of the sample data entered. Obviously with your business, uh, depending on what type of business you are in, you might need different data categories. For that, simply click on add column over here, click on use field from library, or you can just use whatever data field you want. So let's say I just want this to be text and let's say I want to add a field called uh, maybe potential revenue and this might be in the form of money and you can choose the currency that you want and then I can add the potential revenue that this deal might bring to my business over here as well. Now after that you have your lead section in any CRM you have your basic uh, you know lead sales and uh, sales pipeline as well 
So in that, we have multiple different levels of leads, such as our basic new leads that we haven't contacted, attempted to engage, engaged, unqualified, and qualified deals. Now, this is going to be data-driven from your pre-existing deals or from your accounts. And what you can do is you can even just click on over here. Let's say we have a deal over here. And this deal uh, that I'm doing with Acme Brand Package for rebranding, I can link a person to this deal as well. For that, I can move to the right side. I can click on Add Column. Then I can add People. And then Field Type. This would be the brand ambassador or brand representative so that's our brand representative now after that i can add this as show guests or show people from multiple different sections but i only want to be able to select one person now i would add this column and i can add that potential customer or client over here as well so these are just some of the basics of the clickup crm i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video